Well, all right, guys, better late than never, I suppose. Uh, this was supposed to be rolled into uh, part three uh, of the Promark GPS uh, Shadow Drone Review. Now um, I'm actually putting a video up on its own. It's kind of a standalone here. I'm going to give you some commentary on what I'm thinking and what, about what I'm seeing here. Um, you guys are noticing probably now some uh, frame drops and some uh, pixelation and maybe a little bit of looks what looks like static. Um, now I want to let you guys know that this was di uh, recorded directly to the DVR on the camera itself. This is not from the app. So one of two things is happening here. Actually, I'm kind of convinced that it's the SD card that's causing the issue right now. Uh, this was file was taken from uh, an SD card that I used in the drone that uh, is older. It's also four gigabyte, and it's also a cheap Chinese no-name card. Um, so I'm thinking that that card may just be weak, or for whatever reason, not optimal for this purpose. So um, to be fair, I'm going to be inserting another card in that camera and uh, taking some more video. And I'll upload that um, in a future date and let you guys see the difference, if there is any difference, and I'll let you guys know. But um, as far as right now, um, not totally impressed with the camera. I was having some issues with uh, the, uh, at the articulation. Uh, so it's supposed to pitch down 90 degrees and then pitch straight up again uh, from the transmitter. There's a dial in the transmitter that does that. It wasn't working out so good today, guys. It wasn't pitching all the way down the way I wanted it to in a couple of occasions. Um, so I have to take a look at the servo and just make sure everything is connected properly. And uh, so you can see right there, I'm trying to pitch down and that's all the farther it would go. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it's still a great drone. It's still a decent camera. Um, albeit a goofy SD card, I'm thinking. Um, so, I mean, for on a budget, if you guys are on a budget, you're looking for a decent, nice flying drone, a uh, good GPS, everything that works on it, um, I think this is a good bet, uh, especially at the sale price it's at right now. $99 on the um, Promark website and then $120 or $120 um, in Walmart stores if you can find them, or $129 on amazon.com with prime shipping so i think that's a really great deal for what you're getting um, there are upgrades you can do to this holy stone makes a um, 1080p 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi upgraded camera for this drone uh, they don't make it but they sell it um, and uh, they also have a 5.8 gigahertz uh, which is a completely different camera and that's i believe is 1080p as well so there are some camera upgrades you can actually just plug and play uh, with this drone. Um, there's also the option of running a action cam. Now action cam on this, I've seen um, Brian from True Drone Reviews, True Drone Reviews, uh, say that I watched the video and he was having some issues with it not wanting to lift it. And uh, so the uh, jury's out on that. I'm going to try it anyway. Um, thanks guys for watching this and for putting up with my missing it on part three. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Um, hit that button, and don't forget to hit the bell for all the content. God bless the Republic.